the idea of certain artists who are interested in working live, uh, visual artists who wanted to work live to musical artists. And when we started looking at, well, what would we add to that? How do we make that a full event? We realized that there was lots that we could do. We could bring in dance artists, musical artists, poets, um, visual artists, uh, really anything that we wanted to do. Um, so last February, we brought some artists together, and it was a big experiment. But the moment when we, about halfway through, when I started seeing that the artists had this elated vi vision of their faces, I knew that it was a success. The future I see for fusion and fusion artists is um, a collaboration that comes out of it uh, across different media. I think the fusion of two different art forms is better than a long version of one art form. I think long works are a little bit a thing of the past and I think short works and um, fusion work is a thing of the future because it keeps um, everybody entertained and it's completely different and um, it's influenced differently across different media and it's, it's really organic the way it works. One of the ways that we can help the Aboriginal art scene be nurtured and cultivated and thrive is if we know each other's work. And the only way that we can know each other's work is by actually engaging in each other in the work that we do. Uh, so it comes to knowing the songs that uh, a musician sings, being able to actually play it for ourselves, know the words that a poet speaks, understand where it comes from, also being able to understand how different artists come together and create something brand new. And that is um, integral to the renaissance for Aboriginal people. I love the collaboration and working together with, with um, musicians and the different sounds. Um, each sound is, speaks to different parts of um, different parts of my brain and body. <laughs> you know, you have the high tones of a violin to the drum, which gets the center of myself, where the violin like is under my skin, and like, like so having the uh, different sounds is a different experience, and then having them all together. I would really love to see a cohesive community, people who can know each other's work, trust each other, um, engage each other, be able to collaborate and partner on projects, um, be able to see how we can work together both artistically, but perhaps politically and socially as well. Um, look to advance what we do with education, how arts is um, demonstrated in education. I'm hoping that it can actually lead to um, politicians understanding something better, both of Aboriginal history, but also about Aboriginal artists, how they work and how they want to work.